Previously, we have presented equity in its own strategic, as its own strategic priority. While well-intentioned, it is evident that substantial progress can only be realized when equity is central to every aspect of our work. For that reason, your city commission has committed significant new resources to begin planting the seeds of change. Creating an equitable community is a monumental challenge, one that will take patience and persistence. The city has established an equity core team. This exceptional team of city staff will be instrumental in helping to design a racial equity toolkit for our city. Racial equity tools will help to ensure that equity is explicitly brought into the decision-making process from inception to completion. Two full-time positions have been added to the equal, I mean, Office of Equal Opportunity, soon to be renamed the Office of Equity and Inclusion, to focus exclusively on reducing internal inequities. A disparity study will soon be underway to help us identify gaps that exist in our current policies and contribute to inequitable outcomes and to ensure that remedies enacted to combat inequities are legally defensible. In the short term, we have made immediate moves to improve the city's pay equity practices through more scrutiny on hiring and promotion practices. One example of a legacy discriminatory policy was the use of unpaid prison labor. Your city commission, working with our neighbors, made a resounding call for the elimination of an inmate labor program, and we responded by ending the existing contractual agreement with the Florida Department of Corrections. The city has since committed nearly $1 million to create 29 new fair wage jobs that will bring those services in-house. The city is also making progress to ensure every worker earns a living wage. With the implementation of our recently completed total reward study, the city has charted a path to ensuring that every employee is paid the fair wage they deserve. This was a Herculean effort by the city's human resources department and the entire Total Rewards Implementation Team, and we thank them for their work. This year, the City of Gainesville successfully negotiated a contract with our public safety units. This investment will help us retain and recruit people to serve in two of the finest public safety organizations in our state. Our Gainesville Police Department leadership, along with the city manager, has been working with our immigrant advocates to make sure that every neighbor is safe and trusts our police department and knows that our force will not be used to support ICE operations or do the federal government's job. Our public safety units continually exemplify selfless service, and that devotion goes well beyond Gainesville city limits. In fact, six first responders from your Gainesville fire rescue team spent five days in Little Africa, Bahamas, aiding in search and rescue efforts following Hurricane Floyd. Gainesville Fire Rescue is also leading the, nations with its, leading the nation with its Community Resource Paramedicine Program, a partnership that started with the University of Florida, decreasing 911 calls for our most frequent users 